G'day, this is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting. Got some uh, mixed bag today, got the $1 coin rolls and also some 50 cent coin rolls. So I'm going to mix it up and do a bit of both. So uh, let's see what we got. Let's zoom in and uh, check it out. So uh, let's open this one. Hope everyone's been having a great day. Um, if you're overseas, it's probably maybe morning or um, hopefully you have a good morning in the rest of the day. But in Australia where I am, it's 4.26 p.m. So in the eve or afternoon. So let's see what we got. Nika, hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, welcome. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to be searching the $1 coins first up. And uh, we'll see if we can find anything nice. Nice, but also rare. Um, also some error coins and uh, low mintage dates. So plenty of things to look for. Ever found a red poppy? No, I haven't. Good morning from Wales. G'day. Ah, awesome to have people from overseas. So welcome aboard. Um, yeah. Love the vids, bro. Thank you, Tyler. Appreciate the uh, support there. Thank you. Yep. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Plenty of things to look for on the one dollar coins. I've actually just finished updating my lists um, for the July list update for coins to look for. So thirty-five different one dollar coins to keep an eye out for. Actually, the two thousand and four this coin here, two dollars ninety-five. Two dollars ninety-five was a, a sale of one of these coins. Sort of a bit of a lower mintage coin at eight point eight million mintage. Yeah, that one's pretty circulate. I'm going to let that one go. But um, what's the biggest value one you have found? I found a, a couple of wavy baseline 20 cent coins and I sold them for $300 each. Uh, but they can be worth up to $5,000 at the exact same coin that I found in um, good condition. Yeah, $5,000 one sold for so. All right, these ones here are women's suffrage coin. Um, $2 to $8 are some recent prices on this coin. 10 million mintage on that particular design. but pretty cool design so yeah hi the man moody g'day how's it going all right these one dollar this one's in pretty shiny nice condition it's a 2019 it's the irb design so it's got the irb below the neck of the queen there so ian rank broadly designed this effigy of the queen on this side just checked some prices on those two dollars ten to nine dollars ninety and that one's pretty Fairly nice, that one, so I'll put that aside, yeah. Hi, dude, it's me. G'day, Love Fishing 5. How's it going? And, uh, yeah, so these Dancing Man hat coins, this one's pretty well worn, but these coins in good condition, $3.95 to $16.60, um, some recent sales, 34 million of them minted, so a lot of them were minted, but in good condition, if you can find one of these in good condition, they can go for a little bit, so... Rory, how's it going? Hey, Michael, I just bought a HH coin for, for $10,000 on eBay. <laughs> Did you? Did I get ripped off? Uh, yeah, maybe. But I like it. I like the sense of humor there. Yep. <laughs> um, do you go live every day? Yeah, pretty much every day. Yep. And I'm trying to get a bit more consistent about the time that I go live. So I'm sort of looking in that sort of uh, four to six o'clock sort of time. Time... Uh, period, I suppose, for where I live anyway. Um, yeah, it's PM. So at the moment where I am, it's 4.29 PM. So Spectrum, I ah, appreciate the gifts there, Spec. Yeah, Kieran, hope you're having a good day. Looks a lot like loonies. Yeah, I think uh, I haven't actually seen the Canadian coins, but the Canadian coins, a lot of Canadian followers, they say these coins look like loonies. So um, yeah, but these are Australian $1 coins. Hey, mate, love your videos. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate that. Do you live in Melbourne, mate? Yeah, I live um, not in Melbourne, but yeah, close by. So I live in Ocean Grove down on the coast down below Geelong. So yeah, not too far away. These ones here, the S mark underneath that large kangaroo there, a 2019 coin. Um, $3 to $5.50 for that particular coin right there to coin collectors. Your voice is amazing with accent. Oh, I appreciate that. Whereabouts, um, whereabouts are you from? What uh, country are you located in? It's always interesting to find out where people are tuning in from. Um, it's good. Do you know Techno Blade? No, I do not, unfortunately. I like watching your YouTube videos to sleep. I oh, appreciate that. Um, yeah, appreciate the comment. Kforge, damn it, I'm late again. No, you're pretty early. This is the second roll, Kforge. So um, yeah, you're, you're early. You're pretty early. 
Yep. So a 2019 are these ones here. Not as not as bright. See, this is a 2019, the one on top. And that one on the top's got a real luster. It's got a real shining pop compared to that one on the bottom. So anyway, but I'll put that aside. New Zealand, cool. South Africa, New York, awesome. This is Australia, New Zealand, watching from the UK. Awesome, New South Wales. Yes, just made my night. Let's go. <laughs> I appreciate the support. I love, this, love the positivity, K-Forts. That's awesome. Yeah, I do appreciate positive vibes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, love it. Awesome. So I'll just um, zoom in on this one here. I just wonder if there's a little bit of an error under the mouth of that top kangaroo. Although it's a bit of dirt, but I just want it on that other side. Yeah, now it's just the dirt making it look a bit like an error in front of it. Perth, cool. How much is a red poppy coin? The red poppy $2 coins, yeah, I've just finished updating my list. So the red poppy is $190 to $305 are some recent prices on the red poppies. Yeah, pretty good coins to find. G'day, mate, how's it going? Um, there. Do you have a job or do you make enough to do this as a full-time? Um, I don't do this as a full-time thing, no, but um, some people would, yeah, but um, it's more of a a side thing for me and I uh, like collecting coins and but I like trying to find coins too and making a bit of content so um yeah so are real shiny coins good are oh, good quality co coins in good condition doesn't matter if they're a high mintage coin they will sell for more than face value to coin collectors because coin collectors like to have um, usually have a coin from each year and they'd like to have one that's in the best condition they can can for each year. So yeah, in good condition, coins are worth more. And a good example of one of the coins that I've found is a wavy baseline, it's quite a rare coin. I sold mine for $300, but in good condition, $5,000. So condition, especially on the rare things, condition can really ramp up the price, the value. So yep, definitely. Um, I went to retail row. Okay, what's I'm not sure what that's all about, but um, cool. Hopefully, you had a good time. Do the coins you sell take long to sell? Some of them can take a long time. Yeah. So what I do is I just put on a a, a buy it now price and have offers open so people can put offers in if they're interested, and it just um just rolls over so that the listing just sits there and it just keeps rolling over every, every month. It just rolls over to a new month and. So every now and then people will buy and you just package them up and pop them in the post box um, on those days. So, but I'm um, just going to be patient. Yeah. This one here, I pause. This one's got a bit of a rabbit ears error right there. So um, some people might have spotted that. So that one right at the top there, it's got a blob of metal there and that's called a rabbit ears error. So between about 5 and $15 for something like that. That's a bit of an error, blob of metal. Cool, a 1994 $1 coin. And actually, I've got this one here that I'm going to be giving away to one of my live subscribers. This one's called a Spew-Roo Error. And you can see on the back of that second kangaroo, the blob of metal right there, uh, that's called a Spew-Roo Error. So probably about $15 on dollars. This is probably worth to coin collectors. But I'm giving this one away to one of my live subscribers. So at the top of the screen next to your name, there's a little star, you can click on that. And you could subscribe to my lives. And this is one of the little perks is me giving away things. So I'll probably give away, I'm actually wondering if I might give away one thing each week. So I'll choose a coin or a banknote and um, sort of give away one thing a week. So I'll be choosing at random someone of my subscribers. Got a few subscribers now, which is great. And um, there's a small cost for it, I think. But um, yeah, jump on that and... I'll be looking after you. I'll follow your account and also uh, give away things to people. Um, if you've got questions and things like that, I'm happy to help out with people who probably look after the people who are subscribing. Um, yeah, but uh, love it. Cool. Hello from the US. G'day. How's it going? Dylan, hello from the US. Love your videos. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. How do you know what errors to look out for? Oh, I've been doing this for a number of years, so sort of learnt over time. I've got some error coin books for reference. Um, yeah, and just knowledge over time. I've seen other people's videos and picking up little bits and pieces. So yeah. Hello from Melbourne. G'day, Jasper. Hello from the Gold Coast. Welcome. How much of the 1993 land care? Oh, pretty much face value. They're pretty high mintage. Yep. Yep, I'm from the US, but um, 
So I've just, uh, I'm from the US. Oh, I've got to try and find that. But I find this fascinating. Awesome. Yeah, welcome aboard. <coughs> New Zealand, Sweden. Awesome. Vatican City. Cool. Can't believe you've lived in ocean this whole time. Um, maybe Ocean Grove this whole time watching the vids close by. <laughs> cool. Okay. Who's that? Thomas. Thomas Harrison. There you go. Um, hello from Norway. G'day. Yeah, it's so cool having people from all over the place, like just right next door, pretty much. I don't know where Harrison's from, but he lives in Ocean Grove, I think. So in the same town that I live in. So it's cool having people so close. And then some people on the other side of the world, like Norway and Denmark and Indonesia. And it's cool. Ah, it's so cool. But um, um, hello from Little St. James. Cool. South Africa. Cool. Love your voice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Hello from Adelaide. Cool. Is a five cent 1968 coin good? Not necessarily. Nah, it's not on my five cent list. I'll just have a quick look. No, no, it's not. Uh, nope. So it's probably a higher mintage coin. How often do you go live? I go live every day. Um, there's only the odd day where I can't get, get live. But I, yeah, every day I sort of go live. And I'm sort of going to try and stick to a bit of a time slot so people get to know that I'm going to be live around about that time. So I'm thinking local time between about 4 and probably 6 or 6.30 p.m. Um, and for me, where I am, where I live now, it's 4.30 p.m. now. So it's around about this sort of time and in the next hour or, or so is when I'm going to try and be going live more consistently so people know. This has got damage on it. That's not um, a minting error. Um, across the bottom of the coin. Yeah, it's just been damaged. So it doesn't add any value, that one there. <coughs> What's a good five cent coin? Someone says in the comments there. 972 five cent coin is good. Is good to try and find. Yeah, they're a lower mintage coin. Um, oh, there's plenty of things. On my five cent list, there's 21 different coins to look for. So I've got, I've got coin lists that I refer to and I've just updated the list for July. Um, and there's 206 coins on the lists now. So if you're interested, through my TikTok account, I've got a little link below the Aussie flag at the top of my TikTok account. And it goes to my link tree. And one of the options is the coin lists. So um, yeah, it's just 995 for the coin list because it takes me a bit of time to put it all together um, and update the prices, research the prices, the current prices. And yeah, so um, if you're interested in knowing what to look for, then that's a... It's a quite a handy thing. I use the list myself. I've got them up in front of me at the moment. Whenever I search coins, I always look at them. Paused on this one a bit. This is this is in good condition for 1984. The first year that they minted $1 coins for circulation. Because prior to that, we used um, $1 notes. So I'll put that aside. That's pretty cool. Uh, <coughs> 3 30 for me. 3 30 p.m. for you. Cool. I gave my four-year-old brother a red poppy coin and he lost it because he didn't know <laughs> coins well. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. But um, yeah, lots of people don't, yeah, I'm not too, sh that, they aren't aware that of the prices some of these coins can go for. And that's what I think sort of intrigues people a little bit that um, the value of coins to coin collectors can be quite high. And you'd never know, like uh, before I started getting into it, I had no idea either. And I found that quite interesting that, you know, just a $1 coin can be worth you know, thousands of dollars if you find the right one. So, um, yeah. What's a $100 coin worth? Um, oh, it depends, I suppose, what year it is and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, they can be worth quite a bit. There's $200 coins. I had a $200 coin a few years ago, but I ended up selling it. But some of those $200 coins, they're worth like $800, $900, $950 now. So, um, yeah. What's the best coin you've found today? Um... The one that's sort of just jumping out at me on my desk is this. It's quite a bright, shiny. It's just, um, it's a not nothing really special in the year it is, but it just um, stands out amongst the other coins. But I did find an error. This one's got a bit of an error on that top kangaroo. You might see it on just behind the ears there. There's a blob of metal right there. That's a. It's called a rabbit ears error. So yeah, that's probably about fifteen odd dollars worth of error right there. Do you have any old Canaanite coins? No, I don't know uh, what Canaanite coins are. 
Hello from New Zealand. G'day. Do you also collect sovereign coins? Ooh, geez, I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love I haven't got a sovereign coin, a gold sovereign, but I'd love to have a gold sovereign. That's one of the coins that's on my wish list for sure. Hello from the Occupied West Bank. G'day. Just went to the bank and got 2022 pack. Ooh, cool. Nice. I have a $2 coin that is almost double the width of a just pull that comment back down. A normal one. Interesting. I wonder if someone's stuck it together or mm, that sounds interesting. Hello from Idaho. G'day. Can you make money? Oh, start sort of missed that one there. Can you make money doing this? Yeah, definitely for sure. So all the coins I'm dropping into the bag here, I take those back to the bank um, and then I just put them through the coin deposit machine and the money goes straight back into my bank account. So I'm only putting aside coins that are worth more than $1. Um, and But sometimes I put them in my own collection. So I don't, I don't sell all of them. Sometimes I sell them on to other collectors. Hello from Florida. G'day, how's it going? Is the Anzac one worth anything? Um, Generally speak, if it's a 2014 year one, because this is a 2014, they made about 22 million of those, so they're pretty common. But they made these Anzac coins in the year 2014, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So it commemorates the um, the First World War, so 100 years since the First World War. So if you find one that's got the year 14, 15, 16, 17, or 18, then they are worth holding on to, but because they're lower mintage, but this particular one isn't. All right. Hey, from New Zealand. G'day. Hello from Utah. G'day. Hello from Idaho. There we go. Do you ever get in trouble or suspected by the bank for for what, Dylan? What's uh, for what? Uh, no, I, no, I've never. No one's ever sort of yeah, sort of said sus got suspicious or anything like that. No, no. Coin mates. Yeah, appreciate the gifts there. Appreciate that. Uh, Cool. Oh, there we go. Ghost main. There we go. So someone, ghost main. I have a one ounce silver one dollar coin, um, American coin that my grandpa gave me before he passed. Oh, sorry about your grandpa, but that's cool about the coin. Yeah, that sounds interesting. That coin. I don't know as much about the American stuff, but um, yeah, I love coins from all over the world. I love all the different designs and stuff like that. And I appreciate you, Ghost Main um, six five eight, because you're a subscriber to my lives. So I really appreciate you subscribing along to my lives, and and because I can see a little um, tag, it says CCD, and at the top there, next to your your name, there's a little star that you can click on, which means that you can subscribe to my live videos. And uh, Ghost Main there is one of my subscribers, so I appreciate that. I'll follow your account after this live, and and um, you'll go in the draw for one of the this coin right here. I'm gonna. Probably choose one person at random and I'll send this to them. So I'll contact you and I'll get your postal details and send it out. So I'll choose someone at random of my, um, yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, so thanks, guys, mate. Um, how much is a 1999 five cent coin? Ah, oh, pretty much face value. Just look at my list. I don't think it's a year that stands out. No, no, it's not. It's a high mintage year. Uh, what's the most valuable coins you have? I don't really know. Um, I haven't really valued all my coins recently, so I, yeah, I couldn't really tell you honestly. I got a 1921 cent coin. Awesome. I love old coins. They're cool. What is the Possum Magic coins worth? Yeah, the $2 coin Possum Magic um, 2017. There's three different designs, but between about $3 and $15 each, depending on the condition of your coin for the Possum Magic coins. Yeah. Hey, mate, I have a $5 coin. Is it worth anything? Yeah, those $5 coins, between about $8 and $13. I think they should be worth more than that because I reckon they're cool. The $5 coins, they made them in a number of different years, but the most common ones are 1988 and 1990. So, um, yeah, $5 coins are cool. They're nice, nice big coin. They're quite a large coin, and I think it's cool having them. So, um, all right, this one here is a U-marked coin from 2019. It's got the U underneath the kangaroo right there. So these ones here, $3.10 to $6.50 are some recent prices on those. Ooh, how much is a round 50 cent coin? Someone's asking the comments there. Um, about, or just have a quick look on my updated lists. Let's have a look now because the prices might have changed a bit. $15.80 to $26.50 for a round 50. Ooh, what was that comment there? I'll just pull it back. Would you be interested in buying a 1966 one and two cent coins? Um, no, I've got a, I've got a heap of them. So, but appreciate the offer. 
Um, yeah, I've got a lot of them, so. And I sort of make up sets of one cents and two cent coins as well. So, all right, that, that were the, all the one dollar coins I was going to go through on that particular. But I've also got, I've also got some fifty cent coins here. So I'm just going to get my clipboard with my lists, and I'm just going to flick over to my fifty cent page, so that I'm looking at the latest information. So I've just updated my lists. Um, so those people who have got my lists and you're on the monthly subscription to my lists. Um, at the time of month where that you had subscribed, you'll get those lists automatically sent out to you as well. So if you subscribed on the 1st of um, June, on the 1st of July, those lists will automatically send out to you. And uh, yeah, and if you, on the 10th of June, then on the 10th of July, they'll be sent to your email address. So um, yeah, they're good to go, ready to go. All right, the 50s, 50 cent coins. Let's see what we got here. See if we've got some good stuff. Levi, there we go. Another subscriber for my lives. Appreciate you. What does the U mean on the 2019 coin? Not from Australia. So just curious. Yeah, that um, there's three diff there's three different ones. So there's the U, there's the there's an A, there's a U and an S, and it's abbreviated like it's like Australia. It's short for Australia, A U S. So it commemorates 35. There's it's a bit hard to see, but there's a little 35 over here on the coin. And it's it that commemorates 35 years since we started producing the one dollar coins in Australia. So in 1984 is when we started producing the one dollar coins. Before that, we had one dollar notes, like in America. And um, yeah, so this commemorates 35 years. And there's an A and a U and an S that you can collect. I think I've got a, I think I found an S a bit earlier on. So I'll just see if I can find the yeah. There we go. There's the S. So I've got the found a U today and an S today, but if maybe I'll find an A today, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm actually on the 50 cent coin, so I probably won't. So there you go. Hopefully that answers your questions. question there. How much does the Flamingo coin go for? I'll just look at the recent prices on the Flamingos because I've just updated that. $24.50 to $50 for a Flamingo era coin, Levi. Very, uh, very nice. Thanks for explaining. No worries, Levi. Whoops. 2009. Now I've got to get my 50 cent coin brain on so I can, yeah, know what to look for on the 50 cent coins. How much are the $2 HH Oz worth? <laughs> okay, there's always um, pretty much face value, pretty much face value. They're high mintage. They made 161 million in 1988 and they made another 31 million in 1989. So they made a lot of them. There's heaps of them out there. What is your oldest coin? Um, oh, geez, I don't know off the top of my head. I've got a 1797 two pence coin. That's one of my favorites. But I do, I did, someone gave me some coins a little while back and there was a coin that was older than that. So I, but I can't remember the exact date on it. Good question though. Um, are you going to the vending machine? No, I'm not. But vending machines are pretty cool. Um, have you ever bought beer with a special coin? No, I haven't, no. Michael sells on eBay to other collectors or anyone who wants them. Yeah, just answering a question there. Thanks, Levi. Uh, all right, this is a Captain Cook from 1970. These, these particular coins, sort of a higher mintage. So 16 and a half million of these coins were minted. Um, some recent prices, $1.40 all the way through to $37.98 is what one sold for. So in perfect condition, the one that sold for $37 or pretty much $38. So uh, yeah, I'll put that aside. What's your most valuable coin? Oh, I don't really know off the top of my head because the values of coins change over time and I haven't really sort of gone through and, and priced them all up recently. So yeah. Um, Brandon asked, do you use a metal detector? I do have a metal detector, but it's been a little while since I've got out and used it. I've got a, it's a mine lab. Um, geez, what's the name of it now? Oh. I can't remember, but I live at the beach. So sometimes I go on the beach and have a bit of a, a go at the sand, but I'm not too far away from the gold fields here in Victoria too. So a couple of hours and um, there's a, an area, quite a large area called the Golden Triangle where a lot of gold's been found. And I've, um, I've found some gold. So this little, it's only a small nugget in this little container, there's a little gold nugget that I found um, out prospecting with the metal detector. So yeah, nice natural piece of gold there, just found in the dirt. Probably been sitting there for a long time and I snagged it. Cool. 
Do you ever buy coins from sh coin shops? Um, no, not as much. No, no. Um, yeah, but this I've paused on this coin. This coin here is a Tasmanian coin. It's a Centenary of Federation 2001 coin. And each state and territory, and also Norfolk Island, had a different design on it. So they've, this is the coat of arms for each of the states and territories. So this is a Tasmanian coin, it says down here. And so that's the Tasmanian coat of arms. So between about two and three million was the mintage, depending on which state and territory it was. But some prices on those, $1.50 to $10 are some recent prices, and that's in fairly good condition. So um, definitely hold on to that for sure. The Tasmanian gang, <laughs> woohoo, that's right. Did you hear about the gold in Uganda? No, no, I didn't. So we'll keep on going with these 50s. I have a few of these 50 cents, cool. 50 pound P, no, these are Australian 50 cent coins. These ones got the emu, emu and kangaroo on it. Um, yeah. Why are the 50 cent, like USA, when they look very, very similar to 50 pence UK? Ah, oh, I'm not too sure. Whoops, not too sure. 69, this one's not, not worth any more, but oh, some of these 1969s have the Queen's head on both sides of the coin, a very, very small number of them. One of those sold for $3,300. So it's definitely worth, once you see a 1969 on a coin like that, a 50 cent coin, flip it over because who knows, like you might be lucky one day to get something really valuable. G'day, Michael. G'day, how's it going? <laughs> okay. Let me help out in here. There we go. Done. All right. Um, they found 12 trillion worth, man, doubling the world supply of gold, man, that's a lot of gold. Um, Levi, someone asked if you could explain some popular 50 cent errors that you're looking for. Yeah, some of the errors, well, one that I just sort of mentioned there, where you can get the queen's head on the both sides of just some of the coins. So some of those years where you can have the queen's head on both sides, the year 1969, 1975, 1977. And another one is where you've got the coat of arms, this design on both sides of the coin. One of those sold for $4,100. So definitely keep out for that error. Keep an eye out for that error. Um, some other ones, you can get a double bar. Um, that's on a 1979 and 1980. So I'll talk about that when I come across them. A 2010... Um, coin, you can get a rotation error. So I'll show you how to check for a rotation error. So you hold the coin upright on this side and you hold it at the top and the bottom. You give a little flick around and the coin is supposed to be pointing to three o'clock, like straight sideways that way. But sometimes she's pointing in a different direction when you flip it around. So that's called rotation, a rotation error. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that error. Ah, cool. These are these are the um, changeover coins. So I, I do like this design. It's a little bit dirty there, so I'll just give a little wipe with the side of this bag. Yeah, so this is the changeover coin. Commemorates 50 years since we changed over from pre-decimal coins to decimal coins. So cool. I'll put that one aside. What are some prices on those? So I'll just pull it back up so you can see. A um, dollar to twelve dollars sixty for that particular coin. There's some recent sales prices on that to coin collectors. All right, 2002. These ones can can sort of sell. What, uh, what year is that again? It's an Outback coin, 2002. Uh, windmill design, $1 to $14.90 are some recent prices on that coin. So what's the uh, 2021 Indigenous Military Services coin worth? That's a $2 coin. I just look on my list there. Um, $4 to $9 for those indigenous military colored coins the two dollar coins oh i'm hoping this is a 2001 i'm hoping this one oh no it's um it's just the um australian coat of arms they made a lot of the australia coat of arms but they've got they made different state and territory ones too so i just found all my dad's old coins nice k forge yeah definitely um have a bit of a look through them in fact, those 2001s, I thought they could be rotated. No, that's a different denomination. Uh, do you hold on to them or sell them? I collect coins, but um, I also sell coins as well on eBay. 
Yeah, and what you what you tend to do, like I'm always looking for the rarer coins, but while you're searching through coins, you might as well put aside the ones that are worth, you know, a few dollars more or um, I've got a fair few of these coins already in my collection, so I don't need to keep heaps of them. So you, you might as well list them on places like eBay or Facebook groups and and sell them to people who want them, coin collectors who need them for their collection. And it just helps finance your own collecting. So it's a good way of um, just helping people out by sending coins to them, but also helping out your own sort of supply so you can get buy some more coins yourself. All right, this one, this one here can have an error. Levi sort of um, asked in the comments there. Someone was mentioning what sort of errors you can get thing called a double bar behind this emu's head up here it's it's two bars of metal coming in towards the emu's head there um, now you can find that on a 1980 and a 1979 coin and that's why I've paused on this coin here and this one doesn't have it so yeah I'll see if I can find one in this live but um, it's not up to me really 75 this could be a double head no 77 a jubilee this one's in pretty rough condition but these silver jubilee coins uh what are you looking at one dollar to 34 dollars at some recent prices the reason i sort of laughed is because on my coin list um this is a 1977 coin but you can also get a 1977 coin that's got the queen's head on both sides and that one of those sold for six thousand dollars so yeah, I put that one back in there because it's pretty well worn. All right, these 2010s, these can be rotated. So I'm going to check this one. Ooh, not rotated. I already know I'm missing one of the coins I remember having. Yeah. All right. Let that one go. Another roll. Yeah, so just while I'm opening this roll up here, so um, people may not be too sure, but you can get, you can subscribe to these lives now. So at the top of the screen, there's a little star. Um, so if you like my lives and you want to sort of know what's going on and um, I'll do some giveaways, I'll follow your account and um, yeah, I'll think of other little perks and stuff like that for people who choose to subscribe to my lives. So um, yeah, a bit of a new TikTok feature. 75, we'll check for a double head. Appreciate the follows um, of my TikTok account. Yeah. coin collection video yeah so yep searching coins for collections but also to sell on to other collectors and stuff like that looking for rare coins are there other years that have the rotation um errors i've definitely seen it before yeah it can it can be on other years but it's sort of known on the uh, the 2010 50 cent coins is a bit of a known it happened a bit i think quite a bit so yeah, but it's definitely worth checking on other years, but I, I don't know if I've got any others listed um, on my lists. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. This one here. So it's a 2004. This is a student design. There was a competition, and a student um, won the competition with this design here. So these ones here, $1.20 to $8 are some recent prices on that particular coin. Okay. 2001, another 2001, 1970, a Captain Cook, but pretty rough. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, bit of dirt going on that one, so I'll let that one go. Checking for Godzilla's. Yeah, I need to. Actually, I might have overlooked a couple of um, those 2001 Godzilla's. Yeah, Levi, he doesn't do this full time. He just likes to make content. Yeah, I like to make content, interact with people, and show people what to look for, for sure. Ooh, a lot of paper on that one. 50 cent ram's head worth anything? Yeah, I love those ram's heads. Um, I'll show you what the ram's head is. I've got one on my desk I found a couple of weeks ago. So this is a ram's head 50 cent coin from 1991. Um, yeah, what are some prices on those? The 1991s, $2.90 to $12.50. But I hold on to all of these. If I find any of these, I hold them. So I've got a, I've got a few of them now. I've got a fair few of them. But geez, I love them. So... Um, yeah, I like that coin. That's cool. Put that back on the desk. Two thousand and one, one dollar with the cargo ship worth anything? Um, with the cargo ship? Uh, not sure what that one is. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he doesn't use Coca Cola to clean the coins. No, no, I don't use Coca Cola to clean the coins. No. It's 
sort of devalues coins in collectors' eyes if you use solvents or polishers and things like that on your coins. So um, yeah, probably steer clear of it. If it's your own coins and you you've got a coin and you want to have a crack at it, then yeah, by all means, try and clean it up. But I, I don't know any techniques really because um, yeah, it's not something that I've really done. That's a nice ram, yeah, it was, wasn't it? It's a nine, yeah, that nineteen ninety one ram's head for sure. Crystal talk. Do you know what causes the line around the eighty four, eighty five one dollar coins? No, I don't. Good question. Yeah, good question. But I, yeah, I'm not too sure what causes that. But it's relatively common. So, um, I was handed down a coin book with Australian one dollar notes. Yeah, they're cool. I love um, I love the paper bank notes. And I might give one of those away actually in my um for my live subscribers a one dollar bank note. <laughs> What's going on with this one? Oh, it's been bumped. I was thinking this one is really wonky um, up the top here. See that bend in the one? I'm like, man, what's going on with that? But you can see it's sort of been hit with something there and it's probably pushed the metal a bit sideways. <laughs> but it's a, a wonky one. Um, what are we looking at here? You can get a bit of doubling down the back of this kangaroo and it's got a little bit of it, I think, there. They call it a Godzilla. We get a bit of extra doubling down the back of that uh, one there. Yeah, but it's very minor that, so I'll let that go. I've got a fair few of those. All right, let's keep going. 78, 75. Just found a coin from 1968. That's almost my mum's age. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I love old coins. I love the old coins. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that 68's old. <laughs> Apologies to anyone in the in the stream who uh, is around that vintage. Um, but I'm just sort of saying in general, I like I like older coins. Um, you found many super expensive coins, not a, not heaps of them, no. But um, I'm always on the lookout for them because, geez, you you always miss 100% of shots you don't take. So unless you're looking for them, you're not going to find them. So I'm going to look for them, try and find them. All right. You can get on these ones here. You can get on a blob of metal at the bottom of that um, robe. It's called a robe cud. It stands for coin underdeveloped, which adds a little bit of extra metal down there. You can also get a blob of metal on top of this hat here. So keep an eye out for those on that particular coin. What's the oldest coin you have? Oh, I don't know off the top of my head, but I've got a 1797 coin. That's one of my favorite coins. This is a cool design. I like this design. Look at the tall ships on it. A 1988 50 cent coin. So $1.60 to $39 are some recent prices on this particular coin. So in good condition, it can command a bit of a price. Put that aside. Check for the robe card. And also the helmet card, not there. Looks like the next coin with another chance. Nope and nope. Okay. Have you been to the Mint in Canberra? No, I haven't. So yeah, one day I'll get along to the Mint in Canberra. And I'd love to go to the Perth Mint over in Western Australia as well. Check out that huge gold coin they've got there. <laughs> um, it's worth millions and millions of dollars because it's a massive coin solid gold i think it is so yeah, i'd love to see that as well all right this is my last roll actually this is on to my last roll so here we go good afternoon from adelaide g'day how's it going yeah it's um 504 p.m where i am and it'd be a little bit different time in adelaide i'm assuming because it's about 30 minutes different from victorian time So how did people ever discover some of the tiny errors in the first place? Oh, they've probably just been searching coins like this and then some people go really slow and they'll, they'll check the coin for extra um, errors and things like that and they'll they'll just notice things. If, you're, if you've been searching coins or if you're a coin collector, you sort of know what a coin's supposed to look like and when you see something just a little bit different, it, it does sort of, it can stand out. So um, yeah. Who names the coin errors? I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, not too sure. 2.04 a.m. in Alabama right now. Yeah, middle of the night, so I appreciate you being here. Yeah. 
Ooh, this one's in fairly nice condition, but yeah, it's a high mintage coin, these ones. I think off the top of my head, I haven't got the mintage figures in front of me, but I've got a feeling 49 million of those coins have minted this particular design, but that's in pretty good, pretty good condition, that one there. Sorry, I should turn up the right way. Yeah, I'll put it aside, but um, yeah, I've got a lot of them. 205 in Missouri, cool. There you go, that's pretty much it. Man, what's what's probably my find in the 50 cent coins? Oh, I like I like these um, Centenary Federation. This is a Tasmanian coin. So anywhere between about $1.50 to $10 on those particular coins. And this um, 1988 Bicentennial coin, where do you go to sell coins? Just on eBay, just throw them on eBay. So take some really cool photos with your phone on the, and then load them up to the eBay app. And then you can sell them to people all over Australia. So, yeah, that's a good place to to check out. Yeah. Um, someone else, someone stole your picture. Yeah, a few people have made some fake accounts of, of me and stuff like that, and pretend to me, pretend to be me and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'd be good to have one of those um, those verification ticks because I've had a fair few accounts sort of mimic uh, me. So. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to have that little tick so people know that okay i'm i'm the person that they think that i am but um anyway it is what it is why not keep the the lady diana coin oh high mintage high mintage i'll see if i can see one on the in the bag just here um no i can't see one just here but yeah those lady princess diana and charles coins yeah they made a lot of them so um yeah they're not not really valuable worth holding on to too much how do you get the blue tick? Yeah, it's a good question. I think K4Ch um, in the comments there, I think he's got a blue tick. I'm not sure how it works. I think they just, oh, I think someone, yeah, I think um, TikTok must have some sort of criteria for um, being verified, but I'm not too sure what it is. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. Rubby ooh. All right then, well, I might sort of wrap things up there. Um, look, I hope everyone has an awesome Friday night. Uh, to get the verification, Bab, you need to send in any press articles you have to TikTok. Ah, cool. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because there was an article sort of done. I wonder if that might sort of help. Actually, I had one of the a news, had um, Seven Sunrise here in Australia. They sent me an email saying, oh, would you like to do an interview with this in the mornings? <laughs> it's, it's, not really, it's not really my thing, actually. Not really my bag, sort of live interviews and that sort of stuff so i said oh thanks for the offer but um yeah uh probably not at this stage so um yeah that might have helped me out with the <laughs> verification tick but it's, that's all good um cool okay i appreciate that there k Forge, for the um the heads up um cool and where else do you send it to i suppose i suppose i could send it i think um you could send direct messages to tiktok australia on their instagram page so i might even try that there's also the TikTok um, accounts for Australia too, so I might try that as well. Cool. All right then. Uh, PA here. Where are you from, mate? I'm from Ocean Grove, Victoria. Ocean Grove, Victoria in Australia. Um, he's from Victoria, Australia. Yeah. All right then. I hope everyone has an awesome Friday night. And if you're overseas, I hope you have an awesome morning or whatever time of day that it is for you and where you are in the world. So um, yeah, have a great have a great 24 hours and I'll be back on with another live about this time tomorrow. So um, be awesome to see people again then. And yeah, g'day Spectrum, Kieran. Um, hope you have a good stream tonight. So Spectrum's in the comments here uh, with the, the colorful emblem there. He does, um, he does lives each night as well and a couple of hours goes live searching through coins as well. So check him out. Um, Hello from Ireland. G'day. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, then. I'll catch you later, everyone. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.